cleaner we're going to discuss is the Creepy Crawly. Now, there are several cleaners that are similar to the Creepy Crawly, but um, we're going to go over those today, too. But uh, Creepy Crawly, basically, it just has a hammer in the head of the cleaner, and I'll put up a picture of that. Uh, it just moves back and forth and uh, in the head of the cleaner, and uh, it makes it move back and forth, uh, kind of like a diaphragm-type cleaner, which we'll get into in a later video. And... Uh, yeah, it, it does, the creepy crawlies and cleaners like it do very well with large debris, as all hammer cleaners do, to my knowledge. Uh, they're just able to pick up so much at a time that it's, dang, it's, it's just amazing. Uh, I've seen videos of them uh, working, and I've seen all the debris they can pick up. I've even seen a couple in real life, I believe. And yeah, they do very good with large debris. And I've had hammer cleaners before. I've had a Zaffy from Kikido. Um... They also make the Derby, which is a very good budget-oriented uh, hammer-top cleaner, to my knowledge. And uh, they also there's also some other cleaners, and uh, we will go over those right now. Okay, so the Mamba from Aquabot is uh, basically just a creepy crawly clone. It operates exactly the same, almost. Only difference is you have to buy parts made specifically for this cleaner to replace it. It's a very good budget-oriented, creepy, crawly pool cleaner type. <laughs> it was called them creepy crawly types. That's basically what these things are. There's creepy clones, is what we call them, in the pool care business, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, they move back and forth, pick up good debris sizes. Uh, to my knowledge, they work good. Uh, Mamba requires lower suction, to my knowledge, so... You can actually adapt these things to an Intex pool with a skimmer cone, uh, the valve adapter, and a Intex skimmer hose, and the wall adapter, and a best same uh, best way skimmer hose too, and uh, that should work perfectly fine. Whew. These things are designed to work off low suction, which is a very good thing. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, I just highly recommend the Mamba, too. They should work good with, uh, small to medium in-ground pools, too, and same with the hard wall pools above ground. That's what these things are designed for, but, in theory, as long as you have enough suction, you could run a creepy crawly in an above ground hard wall. But, uh, our next cleaner, this pool cleaner, will be the Creepy Crawly Cruiser, which is basically just, uh, a silent operation version of the Creepy Crawly. Uh, what this one does, it has the same hammer configuration, except it does not, uh, actually it doesn't make any noise, does not click at all, only if you bring it up to the very surface, uh, well, I mean, almost all silent operation pool cleaners will do that, as soon as you bring up the surface, they'll make some sort of noise, but whenever it's on the bottom, or, uh, just on the bottom, really, it just clicks, and none of it click, yeah, underwater it would, it would, but it wouldn't make it up to the surface, so silent operation. Uh, it picks up about the same debris the Creepy Crawly does. It probably requires less suction because it's smaller. Just like a more compact and silent version of the Creepy Crawly. And uh, that's about it for today. Uh, if you want uh, more pool cleaner tutorial, Now, if you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, there will be more pool care stuff coming soon. So, bye.